Obviously, with 10 games left to spare in the Skybet League 2, I'm joined by football correspondent Liam Potter here. We're gonna, he's going to analyse the last 10 games for both Gloucestershire clubs in Forest Green Roofs and Cheltenham Town. So, Liam, uh, where can you see both of these clubs picking up points between now and the end of the season? It's going to be a it's big run in. Yeah, there's going to be some tough battles in there, surely. Yeah, it's crunch time in League 2 at the moment. Um, really important time for both teams. Um, both teams, yeah, so Forest Green, they, they sit in 18th at the moment. There's seven points clear of relegation, but they've got a few um, huge games. So teams in around the same area that they are. Crew, Barnet and Grimsby, um, they'll be looking to pick up points at those games. Also, Chesterfield at home, that was a massive game. Um, it's a real opportunity to pick up points, and, if, and I think if they do that, then they stand in good stead to stay in League Two this season. Um, Chantham, they also got Chesterfield and Crew, um, so they'll be looking to pick up points there. And I think if they do that as well, then they should be safe this season. With our Clos El Glasgow, obviously that's in the running, of course, on the 14th of April. How, how do you see that one plan panning out? Yeah, I think that would be quite an interesting one. Forest Green, they're, they're scoring a lot of goals, but they, they can also concede a lot as well. Um, Cheltenham, probably more defensively resolute. I think both teams will score, but it'll be a score draw, one all. With, obviously, Forest Green Rose, they're in sensational form. They earned a fine draw away at Newport. They're unbeaten in five. Uh, can they sustain this form? I think so. Like Five home wins in a row, that's, um, you know, the new lawn is becoming a bit of a fortress now. Um, however, they've only had one clean sheet during those games um, and they've conceded 59 goals in 35 games this season, which is quite astonishing, really. That's almost two goals a game. I think if they just tighten up their defence a little bit, then I don't see any reason why they can't continue this form. And I think if they start this form earlier, then they'll certainly be looking at the, um, at the top end of the table rather than looking over their shoulders at the moment. Moving on to the Robins then, uh, winless in four, but some good points picked up against uh, promotion chasing Notts County and Luton Town in recent weeks. Absolutely. If you take the, the form on face values, one win in five, it doesn't look too good for, for the Robins at the moment. However, you have to take into consideration fantastic points at Luton um, and at home against Notts County as well. That um, two-all draw at Luton was fantastic. To go to Kenilworth Road, which is a tough place to go at any time, um, and, and get a point was <clears throat> a real testament to Gary Johnson's side, and I'm sure he'll be absolutely delighted by that. Um, they have struggled away this season as well. They've only won 29% of away games this season and haven't won away since the 6th of January. So they do have to improve that a little bit, but those draws, are, yeah, they are, they're very very good in the, in the running. Both teams, obviously, they've got goals in them, obviously, with Mohamed Issa and Christian Deutsch. How vital are they going to be between now and the end of the season? Yeah, Christian Deutsch, 16 goals this season um, in the league. He's absolutely vital in Forest Green's survival hopes. Um, he's been playing exceptionally well all season, and obviously in the January transfer window, they did very well to keep him. And I think, yeah, if he keeps scoring, then they're only going to improve their form. Uh, obviously, um, how, how important is it for them to maintain their League Two status if he's going to stay next in the summer? Yeah, that, that League Two status is a huge pull factor in players coming into the club, players going out. Um, I think if they were to go down, Doidge would no longer be a Forest Green player. I think he's setting his sights on regular League Two football, potentially even higher. Uh, and I think he has the capability, if he's in the right team in League One, potentially even the Championship, he could, uh, he could still score the goals because he's got all the attributes to be a successful player. Moving on to the managers then, uh, they're both doing all right jobs this season. Uh, do you think they, they'll both stay, even if they, one of them does go down? Yeah, I think if, if um, Cheltenham go down, obviously there were question marks over Gary Johnson's health last season. So that would be taken into consideration, I'm sure. Um, he has to think of himself first. And if they do go down, I don't think he'll be likely to stay. Um, if they stay up, he may last a couple more seasons, but I think he has to take his family and his health into consideration first. Mark Cooper, on the other hand, he's still a young manager. He's done it before in League Two and League One. Um, and this upturn in form is just testament to him, really, and I think he'll be in demand, even if he fails to prevent them from going down. Um, I think, yeah, I think he'll be in demand. Um, so it will be an interesting summer for both teams in regards to players and management because there's 
a lot of things that could change quickly depending on how this season finishes. So overall, where, where do you think both teams are going to finish this season in League Two then? I think Forest Green, I think they could leapfrog Cheltenham, certainly looking at their form um, and their, their strength at home as well at the moment. They're doing exceptionally well. And yeah, I think, you know, well, they're 18th at the moment, but I can see them rising as high, over 16th, potentially pushing top 10 um, if results go their way. Chatham, on the other hand, I think 16th where they stand at the moment, I think that's a fair assessment of where they'll finish. They're on average form, picking up wins where they need to, but they're not doing anything spectacular. So I think where they are now is exactly where they will stay.